Let's talk about a real cool project going on at Harlem High School. How are you doing, Michael? Doing great. Give us your last name so we can make you famous here. Uh, Michael Fenners. All right, Michael. How's everything going? You a senior? Uh, yeah, I'm a senior at Harlem High School. Outstanding. You guys got something really, really cool going on. Fill us in. Yeah, so what I'm a part of is called the Harlem Veteran Project. Basically, what we do is we make documentaries for veterans in the area. Not only this, but we make documentaries for people from the home front of World War II, Korea, and now Vietnam. Um, it's just a real, real cool project to be a part of. Not many high schools really get the chance to do this, so it's something for us to leave our impact on you know, our, our community. Absolutely, and share something really nice with the rest of the community uh, and, and, and probably learn a few things about what went on in the past that you might not have been aware of, too. Yeah, I mean... It, you know, as far as the information, it's great to learn from a primary source. You know, there's certain things that you'll never learn in a textbook from them. And not only this, but the life lessons that go along with it. I know there's certain things that I've learned from these stories that I'll always carry on for the rest of my life now. And that's a really cool experience. How, and, go ahead. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. how many of these have you been involved with? How long has the, the project been, been going on? So the project has been going on for five years. Basically how it started was it was called the World, Illinois World War II Classroom Project. A bunch of veterans down in Springfield got some money together and built a memorial for World War II veterans. They had a lot of money left over, and our contact, Vicki DeWitt, actually came up with this idea to present oral histories. And luckily enough, our administrators got behind that and got a grant for us and started the class about five years ago. It's been a full-time class for three years of 42 students each. We've interviewed almost 150 veterans right now, and we got many more coming. So That's outstanding. And then when you're done, you produce a documentary based upon the interview, and you present it to that person and their family, too, right? Yeah, yeah. So at the end of the year, uh, we present a full-length uh, professional grade, or we like to think professional sure. grade. Um, documentary to their families and and that's probably the best part of this whole experience is just you know, seeing their faces as you know we give that to them that's what makes it all worth it in the end somebody's interested in in doing this take us through the process of how how things kind of get set up how things move forward so basically what they would do is they would call to they would contact Harlem High School and look for Nick Stangy and um, they would get in contact with him through Harlem High School and then uh, Mr. Sangi would contact them back. We would set up an interview day. We actually have several interview days coming up right now. Um, and they'd set up an interview day, and then we'd bring them in. We'd get them nice and comfortable, have lights, everything. Um, get their interview going. beverage or something. Just oh, yeah. yeah. Nice okay. cold refreshment, <laughs> everything. Why not? And, um, and so we got everything set up for them, and then they just come in, and they just you know say whatever it is that they feel like they need to share. You know, of course, we're going to ask them questions, but we try never to cross any sort of line, and we just we try to keep the door open to really anyone from the home front in Korea and Vietnam now to anyone of that era. It, it, it's got to be an amazing experience. It just uh, in, in the different stories that you've heard, uh, and I'm sure some people have a, a greater ease in sharing their stories than others do. For some, uh, the, you know, telling you what went on might, might be a little more difficult than others do. Yeah, yeah. Again, you know, these stories that we've heard, um, it just gives you a new insight into the impact of what normal, everyday people um, can do it, for our community and, and for our country. Um, it definitely inspires myself and I think the rest of my classmates to really go above and beyond what we previously thought we could in high school. Now, people are interested, Michael. There's also an event tomorrow night, if my information is correct, where people can find out a little more information, uh, ask questions, sign up, those sorts of things. Yeah, so um, tomorrow night at the Harlem football game, we're going to have our Harlem Veteran Appreciation Night. Basically, how that's going to work is veterans will get in for free. So that's always awesome. They have reserved seating. Um, we'll have runners get them food and drinks. That way they don't have to really worry about getting up, getting back down. We're going to have a lot of pageantry involved. We have over 300 flags that we're going to set up. It's going to be great. Um, an organization known as Vets Roll is going to be out there. Um, they ship veterans every year on buses to D.C., we're going to have a lot of people out there. We're going to try to have a good time, bring the community together. Um, we're going to have a table out there. So for anyone that's interested in possibly having an interview done about themselves or someone in their family could talk to us. 
or you know anyone just trying to help out the project. We'll, we'll be there and we'll take anybody. You had mentioned uh, veterans get in free. Current service members, if my information is correct, also get in yes, free as well. Yes, anyone, anyone from any of the branches, um, you get in for free. If you don't have a military ID, we're really not going to question yeah, you're not going to give somebody a hard time about exactly. that exactly <laughs> so so you know no one's got to worry about that just again we're just trying to get everybody to come out support the football team hopefully we get a win go huskies and um <laughs> and you know try to get the word about our program out you have veterans in your family uh yes i do interview them uh yes i have how'd that go it, it went it went great um yeah, I'm not going to say that when I started the program, it definitely wasn't in the back of my head that, oh, I want to get their story out, too. Um, but I, I think for me, actually, the I've been a part of this two years, and the first year that I did it, I did someone that I wasn't related to. And I think that was actually a bigger impact on me because, you know, I had no previous relationship with this person. And, and now I, you know, I, I have a great relationship with that person. I see that you know, all the struggles that he went through in his life and, and how all mine just seemed trivial at this point. So That's a great perspective. That's a great way of looking at it. What do you want to do when you get out of school? I actually want to become a history teacher and hopefully go back to Harlem and teach. Outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. That's a good long-term plan. That is a good long-term plan, and you're a fine representative of Harlem. I, we want to point that out as well. For Go ahead. Quick question, too. I, I know you present the documentaries back to the families. Are, are they available in any way for, for public viewing? Yes. Yeah, so on, um, on the Illinois World War II Classroom Project website, if you Google it, it comes right up. Um, all of our documentaries are on there. Right now, um, a couple students and I were actually making a website for us uh, that should be live in about a week and a half. Oh, cool. So uh, so we'll have a website through Harlem High School website, and, and all of our documentaries that we've ever done are on there. Also, some of our clips from our gala, which is our end-of-the-year presentation to really just show off, you know, mm -hmm. all the things that we've done. Uh, we have some of those on there, and those, and those are pretty cool clips, too. So we're trying to get, you know, as much as we can out there and through, you know, efforts like this and um, on... For the Veterans Night, we can really get the program out there and really get these stories told. And when you do go live with that, drop us a note so we can let people know about it, too, so they can all check right. that out, would you? Yeah, all right, all thank right. you. Very cool. Nice job this morning. We really appreciate, A, the effort that you guys have put forth with the documentaries, what you're doing for uh, for the veterans and current service members at the game tomorrow night. Anything we, we should have asked you that we didn't? Uh, no, again, just, you know, for any, for any current service members or any veterans that are listening, we, um, for, the veter for the veterans, we are always here. Uh, we are here to interview up to Vietnam right now. And um, for anybody that wants to come out to the game you know, tomorrow night, please come out. Please support you know, our cause and the football team and just have a great time. Outstanding. Michael, you're a fine young man. Thanks for coming in this morning. Thank you so much.